Today in the news, buyers must beware because we got Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia. Don't worry if you're confused, this is still a tech channel and all will be explained. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. been a few months since the storage crisis was supposed to happen. Back in May, the new Chia network opened to mine, or should I say farm, Chia coin. And since Chia is only farmed on storage, the conclusion was that the storage would disappear from the shelves, and of course, you know, prices would increase, kind of like what happened to GPUs. And it kinda did, sort of. Chia needs a lot of storage to make a profit, and I mean a lot. The entire network right now has 41 exabytes. So there's terabytes, there's petabytes, and then there's exabytes. 41 freaking thousand petabytes. That's insane, and it's used strictly to mine coins. Anyways, so for hard drives, prices went up. It went up a little bit for medium capacity drives, so eight to 10 terabyte drives had something like a 10 to 15% increase, and any capacity above that, so 14 terabytes and up, was pretty bad with a 30 plus percent increase in price. And these high capacity drives were very hard to find. For good old one to six terabyte drives though, we didn't see that much of an impact. By the way, check out this video I made over there to find out why hard drives are super awesome. I worked hard on it, so please check it out. Anyways, the story was different for SSDs though. With Chia in the wild, the price didn't really change, but faster and better SSDs were pretty hard to find at first. That's because you need a fast SSD for what they call plotting. Plotting is a very write intensive task that creates the plots to farm Chia. Plotting Chia is so bad for your SSD that you can actually kill it in under two months if you don't stop plotting. That's because plotting a single Chia plot will write about 1.6 to 1.8 terabytes to your SSD. The final plot size will only be about 100 gigabytes, but your drive will have written 16 to 18 times more data. Why is that a problem then? Well, NVMe SSDs have a rating where after a certain amount of writes, it is no longer safe to store data there, or it's likely to fail. For something like a Corsair MP600, that's 225 terabytes written. 225. That means that after 140 plots, the SSD might start to fail. 140 plots. That's enough to maybe fill up one 14 to 16 terabyte drive. So you're sacrificing an SSD every time you want to fill up a 16 terabyte drive. And the farms have petabytes of data to write. So that's nothing. Now, thankfully, the Corsair drive is a little low in terms of its uh, endurance. The Crucial P5, for example, has 600 terabytes written at the same size of drive. Some manufacturers are also targeting Chia farmers with some 12,000 terabytes written for uh, a drive. But let's be real, the premium on these drives is probably not making these farmers want to buy them. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Well, it's because Chia coin isn't doing so well. In its first month, it was all over the place with coin prices going from 750 to 1500 bucks. Most people thought that it would stabilize at around $600, but on the second month, it fell a little under $300 US. And now, well, it's down to a little over $200 US. So it's basically crashing, and some farmers are looking to get out of the game as fast as possible. So drives will probably flood the market with lower prices. Now for hard drives, it's not a huge deal when buying secondhand. All you really need to worry about is the manufacturing date. And since these super high capacity drives are fairly recent, you should be fine. Hell, Chia technically helps in that case. Hard drives usually fail in the first few months or they fail years down the line. And I mean years, like five plus. So all these writes in the first few months kind of break that drive in. With Chia, they're filled up with plots and just forgotten. So buying one secondhand is not the worst thing, especially if you can save money. But as I made it clear earlier, for SSDs, it's a whole different story. And while you might find a good deal on eBay 
safer used SSD, I would probably recommend that you steer clear for a while. Chio miners who want to get out are currently selling their hard drives and NVMe stock up, and some are selling at a loss, which I guess is fine, but I still would recommend that you not buy the SSDs. What's worth is that other super scummy people are actually buying in bulk these SSDs from these big miners and then rebadging the SSDs as new. That's horrible, so watch out. Now, there are some ways that you can check a hard drive's health with Crystal Disk Mark, for example, but you can only do so if you have the drive in hand. So for me, that's a non-starter. I would not trust a screenshot coming from an eBay seller. What do you guys think? Would you still buy used flash storage after news like that? If not, how about a hard drive? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to see this thing do a backflip. I'm going to do it anyways. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one. Jesus. That was the snap. That was the sound of the snap. Don't worry, the drive is already dead. I'm just fucking around with it.